Severe storms are possible across north central Florida as we go into the evening hours. I'm UF forecaster Brian Bogiano. The area highlighted in yellow here, there's a chance for seeing some isolated severe storms as we go into the evening hours, and this includes Gainesville, Lake City, Jacksonville, and we're along the I-10 corridor and the Nature Coast where we could see some localized flooding, heavy rain, and also the possibility of damaging winds. By 8 o'clock, we're still going to have some of these storms moving through. In fact, this evening, they're not going to let up until about 10. Still, though, Gainesville and Lake City, you could see a shower or a storm moving in around that time. We do see a slight lull in activity after midnight, but by 5 a.m., we do see showers starting to redevelop, and these will move into north central Florida early in the morning on Sunday. Here in Gainesville, rain chances do drop after midnight slightly, but once again, they do pick up at 6 a.m. to about a 40% chance once again, and they will rise throughout the day. And since rain chances will be high across all of north central Florida this evening and on Sunday, the total rainfall accumulations over the next 24 hours will be over an inch in some places with one to two inches in Gainesville, about three inches a little west four inches in, or more in some places along the nature coast. A little bit less though along the first coast where one to two inches of rain will fall. Now the timing of these severe storms that could develop will be tonight into tomorrow morning. The main threats once again are going to be some localized flooding and damaging winds. And since this is an overnight and early morning threat, you should download the Florida Storms app for your Apple or Android device to stay up to date in the latest advisories or warnings for your area. Now those rain chances, they're not going anywhere down anytime soon. In fact, we have this front here. It's going to stall out and it's going to move to the south slightly, but still a lot of moisture still congregated over north central Florida. Some drier air will try to move in, but moisture does move back up Tuesday as this front here does lift back to the north. So rain chances will increase once again on Wednesday. So for Sunday, some strong storms are possible. Heavy rain will be the main threat. Those chances go down slightly by Tuesday as some drier air moves in. But then as that front lifts on Wednesday, rain chances increase once again and they remain elevated through Friday.